in Helsinki, the capital of Finland at the heart of the Baltic Sea region. Geographically and culturally, the crossroads between the east and west. Today, EPP prime ministers and heads of EU's institutions met to prepare the Eurozone Council and the extraordinary summit on Libya on the 11th of March. The most important message is that uh, no one can replace or safeguard any countries or the European economy if the, the member countries don't take better care of their fiscal policy. So therefore we need uh, tougher rules and we need sanctions. As uh, my good friend Katanin just said, this is critically important because without discipline there is no confidence. Without confidence there is no growth. Without growth there is no employment. And we need that in Europe. We will also need treaty changes because we need a um, uh, financial stability mechanism, European uh, stability mechanism permanent for next decades. And from this point of view, it's necessary to finish the job in the European Parliament until the end of March and to take decision by the European Council on this matter. As a result of the discussions, the EPP published a five-point document on how to safeguard financial stability and economic growth and improve employment. It can be found on the website at epp.eu. On the situation in North Africa and in particular Libya, the leaders made it clear that the EPP is on the side of the people. Nous, on a décidé de donner immédiatement une aide humanitaire. J'espère que les autres pays européens auront la possibilité de faire la même chose. J'ai parlé avec Angela Merkel dans les jours passés. Elle m'a dit qu'il était en train de faire le même. Et ce soir, on aura l'occasion d'en parler avec tous les premiers ministres qui font part de la grande famille de la démocratie et de la liberté, que c'est le peuple. Je pense que l'EPP ici doit envoyer un message très fort de condamnation sur la violence and uh, of extreme support, full support, to the people who are requesting their rights, fundamental human rights, the freedom of expression, all of those rights which uh, are part and parcel of our daily life. I am aware as well uh, of uh, Libyan people in the Benghazi side. We should provide all the humanitarian aid that is required for the Libyan people to be able to move forward. Of course, uh, we cannot interfere in individual countries' political decision-making. It's up to Libyans. Uh, what, do, what do they want to do, but we have to be supportive, whatever they, they need and support young and fragile, growing uh, democracy. We have some know-how in the European Union today, because uh, 10 member states say at least uh, they had such a transition from uh, authoritarian system to democratic system and to free market economy. So having know-how, we should manage to help our neighbors from North Africa and Middle East. They also endorsed Jyrki Katainen, Deputy Finnish Prime Minister, ahead of the elections next month. Mr. Katainen is an extremely valid person, very intelligent. I wish him all the best and the success. We wish him great success because it will be success of Finland and success of the European Union. I'm sure that people trust on honest, uh, outspoken, responsible and future-looking political force. So we concentrate on renewing Finland and we concentrate on uh, job creation. We want to say uh, very clearly that if we are in the government, we take care that Finland will remain an active player in EU level and in international level. We don't, we don't want to kind of marginalize our country by, by withdrawing from the decision-making tables. Some final words there from Finland's next great hope for Prime Minister. Thank you very much for joining us here at EPP TV and join us next time at the March Summit on the 24th.